Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you may or may not know, I've owned seven different types of Toyota 4Runners over the years, and currently I'm test driving the 2023 Toyota 4Runner in the 40th anniversary version. It's always been an amazing journey with the 4Runner, but you may not be aware that there's a new version of the 4Runner coming sometime maybe next year or year and a half from now on, and there's lots of speculation as to what that will look like and will perform like. So now that we've got the latest information on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, we can begin to speculate more accurately about what's going to happen with the 2025 or 2026 Toyota 4Runner. So let me put my thinking cap on and go through all my predictions and speculations for the sixth generation all new 2025 slash 2026 Toyota 4Runner. Let's go. So here's the current 2023 Toyota 4Runner. And this one's a special one because it's a 40th anniversary version. And while I'm not too crazy about some of these uh, stripes and the coloring on this particular vehicle, you know what, it does look very different and it is very unique. Regardless, this is still the good old fashioned, proven and durable and reliable Toyota 4Runner. Still built in Japan at the Tahara factory where I have been many times. This thing is perhaps one of the best built vehicle in the world. And you know what? It's one of those vehicles that can last 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40, 50 years if you take care of it because the uh, powertrain, the engineering behind it, and the manufacturing of this is absolutely world class. But regardless, there is still a new version of the 4Runner that's going to come out. And even though we might not be too crazy about losing this version of the 4Runner, you know what? Time is changing and so is the 4Runner eventually. And because we know so much more about the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, it's going to give us a little bit of a glimpse into what's going to happen with the 2025 or 2026 Forerunner as well. Uh, as you know from my previous videos, I have been speculating that a new Forerunner has been delayed somewhat. And most likely it's going to appear maybe mid to end of next year, so end of 2024 calendar year as a 2025. But I'm also hearing some fresh speculation from Japan that the Forerunner could be delayed even further into maybe 2025 calendar year as a 2026 model year. And that is very possible still because Toyota has so many different models coming out this year and early next year that it makes kind of complete sense to delay this one because the current model of the Forerunner is still selling very well and there's really no reason to rush into bringing the new model. Regardless, let me go over all the details of the Forerunner for the next generation, which is the sixth generation. And let me know in the comments below if you agree with that and whether or not you're going to be happy with some of those changes that are most likely going to be happening with a sixth generation version. So the first thing that's likely to change when a new version of the 4Runner comes out is the powertrain. Right now we have this proven and reliable 4 liter V6 engine for the 4Runner and it's been around for a very long time. Now this engine is actually quite up to date in terms of emission controls and so forth because the new Land Cruiser 300 series that's sold in Asia and elsewhere actually still offers this 4 liter V6 engine in some configurations. Um, so you know that, that this engine is capable of handling newer modern vehicles. But if everything that we see in the Tacoma is also going to be happening in the 4Runner, then we can expect this engine to disappear and to be replaced with the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine exactly the way they engineered it for the all new 2024 Tacoma which means that we have also have a hope that the hybrid version of the 2.4 liter turbo 4 will be offered in the new generation 4Runner as well. Um, I don't think we will get a plug-in hybrid version but we definitely should be able to have both the 2.4 turbo 4 and the same engine with hybrid and just like in the Tacoma, the hybrid system or hybrid motor will be sandwiched between the engine and the transmission, which is designed to increase power and torque and to maximize the output, as opposed to maximize the fuel efficiency. This uh, hybrid system is really not designed to give you uh, super high mileage, like the way you see it in the RAV4, for example, but it's really focusing on creating the best combination for combining the turbo engine with the hybrid so that you get a maximum output and pulling power so that you can still tow with the 4Runner. What about the 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine that's currently in the new Tundra and the new Sequoia? Would that ever show up in the new 4Runner? Well, it's a little bit difficult to say, but I really don't think they will put the V6 engine into a new 4Runner and instead they will likely go in the same path as the new Tacoma, 
which has a 2.4 liter turbocharged four with and without hybrid. So I know that it would have been ideal to have a V6 engine to remain in the new uh, 4Runner, but I don't think that's gonna happen, unfortunately. So those are some of the things we expect to happen in terms of powertrain. Um, but what about the rest of the vehicle? What else is going to change? Well, I'm going to be updating my rendering that I did before uh, to reflect some of the changes that I see in the new Tacoma. But for now, I have the version I did uh, about two years ago on the 4Runner, because at that time we thought the 4Runner will come out sometime this year or late this year. But with some of the delays that we've seen, uh, I think what Toyota is doing is perhaps uh, redesigning some of the components and some of the elements of the design to reflect more of the rugged feel and the more of the off-road design that we are seeing more and more from companies like Land Rover and also Ford in the form of a Bronco. So those changes are, I think, what maybe the engineers and designers are doing with the new 4Runner. And I think that's the reason why uh, the models have been delayed in terms of the new generation. And so that means we can expect uh, many, many changes in terms of the shape and the design of this vehicle. So let me go over some of that right now. While many of us really love the current design because it looks rugged, it looks traditional, and you know what? This design still looks pretty good in my eyes. But at the same time, things have moved on in the automotive design field, and maybe this kind of design is no longer all that relevant because these days we have more slim headlights, and these are obviously um, changed a lot in terms of headlight technology. And then also um, the front bumper and the front grille looks very different if you look at the current Tacoma. So we can almost extrapolate what we see in the Tacoma onto the new version of the 4Runner and begin to take a guess as to what it might look like. So as I mentioned, I think the headlight will be a lot slimmer. It will obviously be full LED. These kind of uh, marker lights will be integrated better. Maybe we'll see the word 4Runner along the side here. This kind of fog lamps won't be used, I don't think, it's in the new version. Instead, we will likely have the light bar right here, just like we see in the Tundra and Tacoma. And this part of the design will change, I think, quite a bit. Maybe more like the new Tacoma, so the grille will be a little bit raised up higher. You'll look more aggressive. And even the pattern inside here will likely change. Um, this whole design, it's obviously, I think, still beautiful in my eyes but looks too outdated from other people's perspective. This hood will change as well because the newer versions are using kind of a clamshell design as we are also seeing in the new GX, which means this hood will come over here and we'll see kind of the border between the hood and the front fender along here. And that gives it a little bit of a cleaner look, maybe a bit of um, hood bumps over here and here just like in the new Land Cruiser and also in the new Lexus GX. And so this part also will look a little bit different. This should come out a little bit wider and more rugged and also maybe more square looking because that's what we see in both the Tundra and the new Tacoma. This looks pretty tame by, by comparison because there's a little bit of a fender bump over here, but it's pretty subtle. Whereas in the new Tundra, new Tacoma, these are much more prominent and more aggressive and also a little bit more rectangular in design. So I think this part and this part will change quite a bit. Um, I think the new design also have a little bit of a different profile in terms of the door area here. In the current version is pretty flat with very little shape along the side. But the new version will probably have either a little bit more of a rectangular profile to it or it could be bulging out a little bit. But either way, this looks way too tame. I think the new version will have that more of a muscular feel same thing over here at the end, this bulge is even smaller than the front bulge and it's not very noticeable but the 6th generation 4Runner should have much more prominent and much more profiled shape here and the fender wells just like in the front should also look more rectangular this way and maybe sticking out a little bit more. The wheel designs are a little bit uh, harder to predict because Toyota tend to be quite conservative with the wheel design so you can still kind of expect a similar type of uh, design but maybe a little bit more aggressive. And then the back end is where things are going to be a little bit more hard to predict. There's a pretty good chance that this vertical square looking tail lamp will change to more of a horizontal design because that's the direction that Toyota is going with all of its SUVs. If you look at the Sequoia or Grand Highlander and so forth. So I'm pretty sure that we're not going to have this kind of a simple blocky design. But maybe this will be smaller in shape and maybe there will be an extension of this uh, rear tail lamp 
to here like this. So maybe a longer version here and here. And maybe a trim will go across the um, entire tailgate here as well, just to give that uh, horizontal look compared to what we have right now. Now, what about the, um, the rear window, which is a big controversial topic? Would they eliminate it like they did with some of these previous models, such as the Sequoia? Well, it's hard to say. I have been predicting that they will eliminate the uh, windows that can come down here, the power windows that is, and instead you will have the flip up version just like in Sequoia because that's the direction that they seems to be going. And it's obviously much cheaper to engineer that way. But it's such an important part of the Forerunner's um, character and attribute that I'm really hoping that they won't do it and that they will keep the sliding rear window. But that is something we'll have to just wait and figure out. Right now we have a big and heavy uh, hatch right here, but that should become aluminum and therefore be a lot lighter and a little bit smaller So it's easier to lift and close and so forth um, Some of these design will change maybe even the actual shape of the forerunner may change as well because this is really beginning to look like 1990s or early 2000 kind of feel to it and right here we can open and cl close the window using these buttons for that but um, even if we do end up with a uh, an actual power window for a new version. I'm sure they will find a better way to integrate the switches than to show up on the emblem right here. Um, what about um, the actual roof area? Well, I think right now we just have a standard roof rack, but hopefully, just like the new Tacoma, the Forerunner will come in a Trail Hunter version, and therefore we get a whole bunch of off-road accessories with a, a much better racking system. Maybe even the air scoop that we see in the Tacoma Trail Hunter, although that is probably unlikely. But because a lot of people also like to take the Forerunner off-roading, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they offered a Trail Hunter right off the bat, just like in the Tacoma, and that would go very well with the whole theme of what the Forerunner stands for. Uh, now let's take a look at the inside to see what kind of changes we can expect when the sixth generation, which is the new version, come out in a year or two. So now I'm inside the 2023 Forerunner and perhaps this is the weakest link in terms of what the Forerunner offers currently just because it's very outdated. We did have some upgrades being done to the Forerunner in the form of Apple CarPlay but it is still wired so you do have to plug in your phone to get the um, Apple CarPlay to work. That obviously will change with the new version because we should have a much larger screen. This is way too small right now and the functionality is very limited. So just like in the Tacoma, we should get more of a tablet style version here that's probably 14 inches and the instrumentation should become fully digital. So we should have a full digital instrumentation as well as much larger infotainment system in the middle. That is almost given because all Toyota models as they go through the transformation appears to be adopting those uh, new features and new technologies. So we can expect that the steering wheel will probably look a lot like what we have in the 2024 Tacoma, which means that the steering wheel should be a little bit smaller because in the current 4Runner, this diameter is really big, even larger than the Lexus GX, and sometimes it's awkward. So the steering wheel will change. The functionality that's built into the steering wheel will also change. Because these are all using some of the older method and older design. And then things like the power window switch and so forth, hopefully will still remain on top of this shelf because I think Forerunner is a bit unique that way and it's much easier to access here than the way down there. So that is one unique feature of the Forerunner that I really do not want to see it changed for the new version. Uh, what about the buttons and so forth? Well, we still get buttons in the new Tacoma, so I think we won't lose that in the new Forerunner. Um, but this whole area has to be improved because it's just a bit awkward and also quite far in terms of reach. So ergonomically, they'll have to modify this to bring this up a little bit closer because the tablet type of the infotainment system will be here that will also go up this way and these ventilation will have to move to the side which is what we see in the Tundra and the new Tacoma. I really do like the current Forerunner's uh, design over here. This looks uh, kind of muscular and also stylish but the new version of the Tacoma tells us a lot about what the new Forerunner might look like. So we're not going to see this huge thing coming out this way. We're much more streamlined but with the word Toyota onto one of these on stylish plastic trims that is likely going to be different from this kind of texture uh, and this section will look different because it should be recessed a little bit more 
and maybe a grab handle here as well once again much like in Tacoma I wouldn't be surprised if the new Forerunner steals a lot of the design elements from the new 2024 Tacoma because they're going to share the same TNGA F2 platform which is a slightly smaller platform compared to the Tundra and Sequoia's TNGA F1 platform I think the seats will have to change quite a bit as well because right now the Forerunner seats are comfortable but not very supportive the side supports are quite weak and it's a pretty flat seat and it's also pretty thick here which makes it more difficult to have a really really roomy back seat so I think the seats will be a little bit more streamlined hopefully a little bit more of a side support and a better ergonomic for the seat as well I do like the fact that the current 4Runner has a pretty wide seats this way and also this way as well so extremely comfortable for almost any body types but the new version might have a slightly different design here so that it can still accommodate different body sizes but also make it more efficient and to optimize the space around the seats now right now the um, 4Runner is okay in terms of height but they may raise it a little bit just like they did in Tacoma because generally speaking here in North America people like to sit tall and sit a little bit high so the seats have to come up a little bit more now you might be wondering whether the new isodynamic performance seats that were first shown in the 2024 Tacoma TRD Pro will also show up in the new generation 4Runner and that is a very good possibility it's a little hard to say but since the new Tacoma and the new generation 4Runner will share many components including the TNGAF platform I think there is a good chance that the isodynamic performance seats which look really cool will also be offered in the new generation 4Runner TRD Pro uh, around here will change dramatically as well because we do have to have things like a wireless charger for the our smartphones so that's obviously not in this current version and then the um, perhaps also the the way that uh, center console work will change maybe it'll be split this way as well who knows because uh, right now this is kind of bulky and uh, you know what it's roomy inside but not always efficient uh, so those are some of the changes i expect for the interior i think the rear seating area hopefully will not get smaller because right now it's pretty roomy in the back with good headroom as well uh, but maybe the new version will be even roomier because it might increase in size in terms of the exterior dimension maybe not by much because the current and the new tacoma did not change that much in terms of overall length because people still want to be able to fit them into the current garage so maybe the forerunner will not get necessarily longer but it might get a little bit wider with a longer wheelbase to maximize the interior cabin and to provide more stability so those are many of the changes i expect will happen in the 2025 uh, forerunner what do you guys think of all of the things that could be happening to the new version of the forerunner are you excited? Are you also maybe sad that maybe the V6 engine is going away? Well, you know what? New things are always exciting, but not always better than old versions. So we'll have to wait and see because I do love the current 4Runner a lot. Uh, even though right now I'm driving the Lexus GX460 as my primary daily driver. Uh, so, well, we'll just have to wait and see. I just can't wait to find out more about the new 4Runner as we get closer and closer. And maybe we'll know more about it once we see reveal of the new Land Cruiser Prado which is supposed to be coming out this year from Toyota and that model could give us further clues as to what's going to happen to the Forerunner as well if you enjoyed my video I would appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up and make some comments and if you haven't done so would you kindly subscribe as well that would be truly appreciated but until next video I'm signing off for now thank you very much